Before we get into today's video, please consider heading over to www.patreon.com forward slash CAEV, it will be at the bottom of the screen, and consider becoming a patron. I have recently lost my job, so any and all donations and contributions help towards keeping the channel active and the lights on. So please consider heading over there, and I will see you all in the video. I know you're all getting sick and tired of this subject probably a lot by now, but this is going to be my last video on this subject for a little while because I'm going to be taking a break from it because obviously everyone is getting sick and tired of it so I'm going to be covering a couple of other things that I mainly cover on this channel but I wanted to do this one because obviously I've had a lot of messages about it over the course of today so I'm going to cover it especially since this is the kind of thing I cover on this channel and that would be false accusations and female perpetrators. That's kind of my expertise for this channel so you're going to have to just suck it up and because this will be the last one for a little while. But it's mainly because of the focus of what the video is going to be about. If you can see on the screen already is I'm trying to get it so it's a little bit of gap so that obviously YouTube doesn't straight come in and just wipe the channel out because of what the subject is talking about. I will be saying the words, but yes, there we go. This kind of thing is highly disgusting in its own right. To accuse anyone, especially falsely, like Amber Heard has done, is disgusting in its own right. You add on top of that that she stole the false ac the, she stole the story from someone else that she was going to use to falsely accuse Johnny Depp, and it just adds a extra layer of disgusting to it. Amber Heard stole my essay story, ex-aid tells a libel trial. Amber Heard's pers uh, former personal assistant has accused the actor of stealing her own experience of being a victim of SA and twisting it into a different story. In evidence given remotely from LA, Kate James also says she had regularly received a barrage of drunken, abusive and incoherent text messages from her between 2am and 4am. Now, as we all know, Amber Heard has a... has a quite a history of being a drunken person I mean they both did but that's even more so because of Amber Heard it's the fact that she was caught having to uh, have more uh, downers than she previously constantly has she basically when it came to trying to cut her guns to control they had to basically sedate her more than the more sedation that she was actually on but there we go james was answering questions during the libel trial brought by ex uh, by herd's ex-husband johnny depp 57 who is suing the sun's news uh, publisher news group newspapers and its ex executive editor dan mouton over an article that called depp a wife beater and refer to overblowing over and refer to overwhelming evidence that he had to, he had attacked herd i mean there's literally no evidence that amber that Johnny Depp has ever attacked Amber Heard, but the thing is, if at the moment you type in Amber Heard's name, you will have so many outlets outlets talking about the actual trial, yet you get the son still falsely accusing Johnny Depp of doing these things. Not allegedly doing the things, but out, out and out calling it. Like the, when I went to the shop earlier to get myself some dinner, there was a Sun newspaper and he said, even though the evidence and the testimonies, witness testimonies shown that the the poop that was on his bed came from a human they've run with the story that it was their dog I mean they're basically calling anyone who they're basically saying the people who have testified under oath of perjury uh, or sorry under oath and under threat of perjury are lying about the poop being from the dog well if that's the case if they're saying that they're lying about it by saying it's from the dog and not from a human then surely they should take that up with the courts and say look we think they're perjuring themselves but they won't do that because they know it's not true but they just can't help themselves not to lie Depp denies ever hitting Heard 34 who has sub uh, submitted details of 14 occasions for their relationship when she claims he assaulted her. The paper has to prove the allegations are substantially true and there's no chance he, they can do that because they're not. The overwhelming evidence shows 
that Amber Heard was the one that was abusive and Am Johnny Depp was the one that was the victim. In her second witness statement to the court, James said she had been the victim of rape in Brazil when she was in her 20s and that the experience had haunted her ever since. When Heard read, when she read Heard's submissions, James said to my utter shock and dismay, I discovered that Miss Heard had in fact stolen my sexual violence conversation with her and twisted it into her own story to benefit herself. This of course has caused me extreme distress and outrage that she would dare to attempt to use the most harrowing experience of my life as her own narrative. Now, falsely accusing anyone is a disgusting manner, but doing such a thing, knowing that the person you've stolen the story from is going to sit there and have to read it, that's just, just, I have no words, that is beyond sick, I mean that's beyond vile, that's beyond anything that you can think of with those words, it's disgusting. James told the court that although she had been a subpoena to give evidence that she was doing so because she is a sexual violence survivor and it's very serious to take this, that stance if you are not one. At the point, Sasha Wass, QC representing the son, abandoned her cross-examination of James. I wonder why. Is it because you can't try to twist her to your narrative to basically try and twist her to slipping up and accuse and saying that Johnny Depp did something? I've, I've noticed something. All of these people coming out and saying that Johnny Depp didn't do it have stuck to their guns, yet anyone who's been there defending Amber Heard has either abandoned her like the um, the Me Too movement has and the Me Too founder has, or outright can't keep their story straight. It makes you wonder. Referring to her drinking habits, James said in a witness statement Amber would drink vast quantities of red wine each night. In court, questioned by Depp's counsel David Sherburn, James added, I would receive a barrage of drunken text messages between 2am and 4am. They were incoherent and they, sorry, that were incoherent and abusive. In a, final, in a final comment, James said Heard was probably the least known person she had been employed by in Hollywood. Earlier, the court was told by Johnny Depp's former butler that Heard often drank a bottle or two of wine at night when she was with Depp and she was the antagonizer in the relationship. Ben King, who, took her, who looked after homes where the couple stayed in London, Australia and Vancouver, said he had, however, noticed on one occasion what he thought were cuts on her arm when they returned to LA. Yes, but drinking who that amount is, yeah. King, who gave a second statement for the trial at the beginning of this week, said he had been told when interviewed for a job that Mr. Jet was teetotal having been a drinker. But the thing is, if he was teetotal when he got with Amber Heard, she must have driven him to drink. And there's many a reason why they, uh, someone would go drinking when with someone. Think of that what you will. He told the court that on, uh, the only drug he had seen the parts of the Caribbean star take was cannabis. He seemed to smoke cannabis sometimes around the house. He also said Depp was always polite. In his first statement, King, whose role was described as house manager or butler, said, I frequently witnessed Miss Heard goading and attempting to provoke Mr. Depp. I never witnessed Mr. Depp be violent or unkind towards Miss Heard or indeed anyone else. King said he had not seen Depp drink during their stay in London. It was Miss Heard who was drinking the wine, King said. I believe she uh, regularly drank at least one or two bottles a night. I made a tally of the bottles of wine left on the counter or in the bins when I arrived each morning. I was usually the first one there. I would often see Miss Heard drinking wine. When the couple were in Australia, where the court had heard they clashed and the house they stayed in was wrecked, Heard would... Uh, Harangue you? I don't know that word, unfortunately, I'm sorry. So if I messed it up, I do apologise. Harangue, yeah, Mr. Depp during the uh, arguments, which seemed worse than they had been in London, King said. On the flight back from Australia, King said in his second statement, I did notice on one arm that she had a couple of, mar uh, couple of marks, which looked like cuts in fairly uniform lines and a sort of diagonal angle towards. Uh, that sounds more like self-harming to me. As someone who's seen my fair share of self-harming, that that looks like self-harming. I recall saying to her when we landed in LA that she may not want she may want to put her sleeve down as there might be paparazzi in the airport. She did not refuse, but she chose not to. 
during the same flight, King said her turned him uh, turned to him and asked, "Have you ever been so angry with someone that you just lost?" He said, "He said he had not." Kevin Murphy, Depp's estate manager, giving evidence via video link from the U.S., told the court that Heard had threatened him with losing his job if he did not perjure himself and make a full statement about the couple taking their pet dogs into Australia without having the correct vaccines. The issue of the arrival of two dogs, Pistol and Boot, in Australia in April 2015, turned into an international media f uh, furor. For a, a fury, sorry, there we go. After Depp was told he could face up to 10 years in prison by bringing them in without the correct health certificates. You notice they're her dogs, but he's the one that would face the prison. Murphy admitted he had signed a declaration for the courts in Australia that contained statements that were not entirely true, and he said because he had been threatened with losing his job by Heard. Amber wielded a lot of power and might make my life miserable, Murphy told the court. The hearing at the court continues. Sorry, the hearing at the High Court in London continues. But that's basically just an update. And I just want to say, any this is her exiting the court after Kate James said what she had said. She sat smiling, laughing and waving at the media after she had heard that she that Kate James knew that she took her assault story. Anyway, I just wanted to update people. I know people are sick and tired of this kind of video as of late, so this will be the last one for the foreseeable future. If you have anything you want me to cover regarding this, link it below, and I might do a stream in, say, a week or so, a roundup, just so that you guys can give have a catch up of what's going on. But this will be the last one for a while. Anyway, let me know what you think in the comments section down below about this kind of thing, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye for now.